you doing that for a reason? Who the hell are you? What are you talking about? My dress. Stay back. Why are you acting crazy? Oh my God. Did we? Practice safe sex, I hold box full. God. Are you saying you don't remember anything? No. None of it. The shower? Against the wall? Oh. The time you got on a force and commanded me to- No, I do not remember any of that. <laughs> oh my god. All I remember is that I came to Mexico to get married to Brian. Something. At the hotel. Something. God. We did it in the shower? Twice. Well, that explains why my quads are sore. This can't be happening! I'm getting married tomorrow! You got married last night! To who? To me! Ha! <laughs> uh, excuse me? Hello? Now do you believe me? Look. Carlos. I have worked two years to make my wedding perfect. And right now, there is a groom, 200 guests, my bridesmaids, and one extremely high-strung mother, all wondering where the hell I am. And I'm not gonna let some completely out of character one night stand mess everything up. Are you really saying you don't remember anything that happened last night? Yes. But I can tell you what I foresee in a moment. So get in. Llévala que me trajo. No entiendo lo que está pasando aquí. Todo era mentira. Una locura total. This is crazy. I'm not going anywhere until you take a moment to clear your head and realize why we got married. Carlos, honey, I'm sorry. It's just on every day that I wake up next to Latin Adonis without any memory of the night before. So, come on, let's, let's work this out. Come on. I also have a 10 year plan and a six month plan, and this doesn't really fit into any of them. I never planned for life. It's done wonders for you this morning. Uh, that's it, Wina talking. I told you about my mother. Oh my god, my mother. Oh my god, if she finds out about this, she'll cripple me. Breathe deep. Oh my god. Stay calm. Oh my god. Mantra. Mantra. What are you doing? I'm meditating. Your mantra is, is mantra? It's a very soothing word. <sighs> I hate crying. Hey, you weren't crying when I met you. You said you felt free for the first time in your life. You were dancing on tables. That's so dangerous. That's what you felt. But I caught you. That's how we met. Really? Thank you. Are you going to freak out on me again? Only if I have to. It's much fun with Brian. I'm too busy making a plan. I wish I had a divorce lawyer. So I wouldn't have to speak to you. Carlos, I have to get to my hotel, and you are coming with me. What are you going to do? Drag me again? Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. okay, wait, wait, wait. Please, I need to re-strategize. Can I have a timeout? Please. Oh. You still got your cardio for the day, huh? Neither is this. If I let you get away with that, will you come with me? I'm starting to understand how this game works. I will come with you. But only because I know your memory will return. And to be there when it happens. Why? You'll see. Did you just get in? We're here two hours and I'm already into the emodium. Great. 
Well, I will see you two at the rehearsal center. Uncle Peter and Susan, it is so nice doing? to finally meet you. I don't think we've met. And I would never forget something so strapping. He's my hairstylist. Not Matt. Fine. Hair designer. You know how uppity the gays get when it comes to oh. titles. Come, Carlos. Oh my, oh my God, isn't it awful? Oh, don't let Mother see that. Where is she? Arriving any minute. I'm Carlos. Whoa. You're hot. Yeah, I'm your brother-in-law. No, he's not. He's just some random Mexican guy I'm handcuffed. <laughs> uh, it's kinky. Not kinky. Kinky. Um, <laughs> do I need to be worried about you? You show up changed as a Mexican guy. Nobody's seen Brian all day. What? He was supposed to host the groomsmen's breakfast. Great! Oh, oh, stop it! Stop it. A Mexican oh, pervert. A hot Mexican pervert. What do we do? What do you think he would say if he saw you chained to this nearly naked Mexican man? I'm wearing clothes. That leave nothing to the imagination. I can practically see your religion and it, it lists to the left. Ew. Didn't you even think of our 10-year plan, Melissa? Why are you crying? <laughs> because I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I am about to lose everything I've ever wanted all because it's so stupid I can't even remember. <laughs> Look, querida, I won't run. I promise. How do I know I can trust you? Because last night, you told me you loved me. Let's see, Remington, Masterlock. Hey, Volkswagen Jetta, all right. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. We found a road. We found a road. Yeah, I think I know this road. Really? About 15 kilometers away is a village called San Marcos. 15? Yes, they have a courthouse there and a, a, and a lawyer's office. We can't get an on there. I'm never gonna make it back in time. Don't worry, I'm sure another truck will come by and we can hit you right. Sure is. Why you didn't tell us you were coming for dinner? It's a surprise. <laughs> I'll say. I know. Maria, show Melissa what she can get. Clean it up. And let her borrow one of your dresses. No, no, that's okay. I don't want to intrude. It looks like you guys are having a party. Don't be ridiculous. This is just a family dinner. Go with her, Maria. So this wasn't a party. I want to say, uh, this small town, word gets around. Mm -hmm. You planned this whole thing. Yeah. We planned for you to burn down a building that's off the cap and uh, get us lost in the jungle. Although I did maybe take advantage of the situation and get us here. That's not fair. Has this whole day been fair to me? What's that? Something I don't remember.
that you made that scripture up counting in chief. I'm so sorry I didn't remember. You like them? Oh, they're beautiful. Your mother said you stopped coming here. Why? I mean, I'm sure you told me last night, but... It's, uh, complicated. Well, if you can't talk to your wife, I mean, who can you talk to? Okay. About two years ago, I was engaged to my childhood sweetheart. Oh, my God. You're a bigamist. Beautiful. Our families were best friends. So they just assumed you'd get married? But I started to feel like something was missing. You know, like there was more to feel. Mm -hmm. So I tried harder to make it work. But two days before the invitations were supposed to go out, I freaked. You know, her family was furious, and my family was furious, and no one was talking to anyone, especially me. And, felt so guilty. <laughs> they should spread you on toast and feed you to lonely women. And you, my virgin bride, get dressed. We're going to your wedding now. We can't. We never got the annulment yesterday. <laughs> well, obviously. But it turns out that doesn't matter. What? I talked to our lawyers this morning, and uh, they told me that your wedding was never legal. What are you talking about? Well, when a Mexican national, that would be you, Mr. Sexy Pants, marries a foreigner, i.e. my info daughter, unless it is authenticated by an officer of the court, it just goes away. Did you have your wedding authenticated? I thought not. Then we're done here. So, Yesterday, when I was burning down buildings and being chased by cops and alligators, I was single. As a dollar bill. Does that really matter? So that's it, huh? Miss Society can't be with a Mexican? That is not it at all, and you know it. Then what is it, huh? What is making you walk out that door? Carlos, last night was amazing, but this whole thing has just been one great romantic setup. Hey, where's the history to back it up? Why does it matter? It matters because we're not in reality right now. And we haven't been since we met. I thought that is what made it special. I can't throw away my entire life's plan. Your plan is not you. It's the only way I know. I'm sorry. She's getting married. I thought you two were married. So did I. Her mother said it wasn't valid. It wasn't uh, authenticated. What does that mean? It means I have the tequila de las lomas. I need you to take me to the Fairmont Hotel. The Fairmont Hotel, come on. Why, why are you looking at him? Look at me. Do you love me? Who are you? We have no idea who this is. He's obviously some deranged stalker who's trying to... I remember why I married you. Why? Because I love you.